Have you ever heard of watery eyes in little babies? This is a common entity called congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rituja Thomas Grover, a consultant, orbit, oculoplastic and lacrimal surgeon at Vision Eye Centers in New Delhi. Today we will be talking about an extremely common entity called congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction or CNLDO as we most commonly refer to it. In this, children present with watery eyes, discharge, pus-like discharge, stickiness of the eyelashes, redness and even swellings around the eye because of infections. This is commonly present in about 6% of children, all children who are born. Around 90% of them, however, they resolve on their own by the age of one year. So, it is usually seen in newborn babies, rather a little after the age of one month when the tear production starts happening. Parents usually complain that after the child was born or within the first year of their life, they have continuous watering and discharge from the eyes. So when the child is seen by an oculoplastic surgeon or a lacrimal surgeon, the child is evaluated to see if there is a obstruction in the duct which connects the tears from the eyes towards the nose and the mouth. This is done with a few tests and some dyes in the clinic and is mainly a clinical diagnosis. Your surgeon might want to show your child to an ENT specialist as well to rule out issues in the nose, which could also be causing the watering. Now, what is advised when your child is diagnosed with congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction? You are advised something called Krigler massage, wherein your finger has to be used to press over the lacrimal sac, which is present near the inner corner of the eye and press inwards and downwards. Now, since it's a child, and the area will be small, you will have to do it with your little finger wherein you press inwards and downwards. This sort of creates increased pressure in the area where the tears are stored, forcing the tears to move downwards into the nose and in the mouth via the nasolacrimal duct. When the tears move down into this area, this can open up the membranous obstruction which is causing the watering in your child. So, doing a Krigler massage religiously at least 10 to 15 times a day, repeating about 10 times each, can open up this obstruction within the first one year of life. From one year to 18 years, you may continue the Krigler massage as advised by your doctor, or you may be advised after 18 months for the child to undergo a probing procedure. In this, a short general anesthesia is given to the child so that the child is unconscious and the procedure takes about 10 minutes. So, a metal instrument is inserted in the area where the tears drain from the eye and it is introduced towards the nose. If this procedure opens up the membranous obstruction, then it is well and good and the child's tearing will resolve. Sometimes, even after probing, the tearing may continue. This means that the obstruction has not opened completely or the obstruction has closed after probing. In this situation, it is important to do another probing with something called intubation, wherein a tube is introduced into this area, which is removed after four to six weeks. Suppose your child, after the tube is removed, develops watering again. This means that there is a larger obstruction, going into a bony type of obstruction. In this case, the child will need a bigger procedure after the age of four years called DCR or dacrocystorhinostomy surgery. This surgery is ideally performed after three and a half to four years once the bone has developed in that area. Usually, the success rates of DCR are above 95%. So, children have an open system and open nasolacrimal duct after this procedure. This was all you needed to know about congenital nasolacrimal duct obstructions. 
for any further queries or if your child could be suspected of the same please bring your child to our clinic or do a teleconsultation so that we can help in diagnosing your child thank you